Is there a particular creature from mythology that you'd really like to see brought into the Lost Girls series that we haven't seen yet? Anything but vampires. ABV. Anything but vampires. Um, no, to be honest, it's amazing once you start doing the research uh, into creatures because the thing that's so amazing about uh, mythology of sort of mythical creatures around the world is the same types of creatures uh, seem to occur in different cultures, which is amazing. There is a little bit of a joke in the writer's room that my go-to place is a drunk mermaid. So if we don't have an idea, I'm like, surely we can just stick in a drunk mermaid in the scene and that'll play out. Uh, so somehow I would like to figure out a way to get a mermaid in the series without it being completely ridiculous. So please, all fans, send me ideas of how we can do that. Uh, but otherwise, I feel we've touched on lots of amazing creatures, to be honest. Uh, and I'm always quite impressed with how our effects department make those creatures come to life. You know, when you write something like a lava monster, the Sharoof, uh, which was in, um, an episode we have coming up, um, you get nervous about that. Are we going to be able to see a creature that's essentially on fire? What is that going to look like? Is it going to be a puppet and a matchstick? And it never is. I'm always very impressed. So... They've just sort of unleashed us that way because they've never failed. Uh, now we're going to continue challenging them and continuing to try to make creatures that are even more complicated. So there you go. So has there been a conscious decision to not bring <laughs> vampires in? I would say so. Not that we have anything against vampires. Please don't start a vampire writing in campaign or start a rumor that we hate vampires. We love vampires. Um, I think... I just think that there is a lot of really successful series and book series um, that have tackled vampires recently. I think part of the charm of our show that sets us apart is that we've just visited a different type of world. You know, we just we just have a we're more interested in the Fae, the world of all these creatures. So um, we're not anti-vampire. We just would have to find a way to do it on the show that was unique. Um, and that's a challenge, maybe for season seven. Yeah. <laughs> what has been your favorite episode so far? Oh, I have lots of favorites, depending on the day. I love the original pilot, which was 108. I think it's fabulous. I love the darkness of it, the introduction of Vex. I have a huge soft spot for the Fay Day episode, which is, I believe... 109 just because I love the idea of Fey Day this day where the Fey can intermingle and kind of get their funk on with each other darker light but aren't allowed to use their powers I just think that was a really interesting take on the mythology um, I have some favorites coming up in season two that I really love um, yeah those are some of my favorite episodes I, I i love the introduction of Aoife in 112 i thought that was really amazing i thought it was done in a really clever way that we meet this character saskia who then turns out to be bo's mother uh, i i there's something in every episode i love and then i have a couple that i i saw differently but for the most part i'm always blown away that what we write down and what is in our heads just becomes this incredible thing we're delivering to the world on screen. What character do you find the easiest to write for and what character do you find the most challenging? This is sort of a tricky question. I really love writing Kenzie. I think she is hilarious and I like to think of myself as quite hilarious. I don't know if that's true. Um, but in the same way, I think Kenzie is an incredibly challenging character to write for. So I love writing for her, but she's hard. Um, I will tell you the secret. I think Bo is a very hard character to write for because there's something about being the lead character where every, you are the sun to which every other character is the satellite. So you have to really be the center of the world. You have to make most of the choices in the episode. You have to be compelling and you have to be relatable. So I think, I think Bo is a really hard character to write for. I think she's an extraordinary character. And maybe that means just I find her hard to do right by. You want to write Bo in such a way that she's always acting extraordinary and being lovable and we understand her choices and the problems she has making certain decisions, maybe in her love life, etc. So I think Bo is difficult. Yeah. But I love her. So there you go. I love the boys too. Love me some Dyson. Uh, don't know if my wolf is accurate, but really enjoy writing him. 
Yeah, I love them all on different days. Yeah. 